What's up, everybody? Today we are trying Mountain Dew Typhoon, and I'm going to tell you all the history about it because it does have some pretty interesting things uh, happen within its life. And yeah, so let's just get right into this. It's Mountain Dew Typhoon, Dew with a Blast of Tropical Punch. And the flavor of the Tropical Punch is a pineapple strawberry flavor. Now you may be asking yourself, isn't there another one already? You would be correct, because Mountain Dew Infinite Swirl is a strawberry and pineapple flavor as well. Now this one came out this year, 2024, but apparently it has been said that Typhoon has a more level even of strawberry and pineapple flavors, as Mountain Dew Infinite Swirl has more of a pineapple leaning uh, flavor than a balanced one. So. That could be the difference. I don't know. That's why we're doing this review, and we shall see. So, the history of Mountain Dew Typhoon. It's complicated. It's a discontinued drink at this point, but it goes all the way back to July of 2009. Mountain Dew had this promotion called Democracy 2, where they drove across 17 different cities in the United States, and they had people stop by these events and try seven different Mountain Dew flavors. And uh, it's said that 1.5 million people came to these events and gave Mountain Dew their opinions of what the top three best flavors were. So within these flavors, one was Typhoon, another one was Whiteout, and the other was Distortion. Now during these events, these flavors weren't given any names. It's just that Mountain Dew Typhoon was just number 509. So as there were three winning flavors, Mountain Dew Typhoon, Whiteout, and Distortion, they were released nationwide on April 19th, 2010. And during that time, uh, over the summer, people would chime in and tell Mountain Dew which flavor they thought out of the three was the best to wind up becoming the new permanent flavor. And Whiteout won by 44%. Typhoon won by 40%, and Distortion was just dead last, like nobody wanted that. So a few months later, in October of 2010, Whiteout is released as the new permanent flavor, but there was also something Mountain Dew did called Fandumonium, where they released eight different Diet Mountain Dew flavors, and one of those flavors was Diet Mountain Dew Typhoon. Typhoon lost and Supernova, Diet Supernova, wound up winning that. So as the Fandemonium promotion ended in early 2011, the spring of 2011 came the Back by Popular Demand promotion, where flavors like Pitch Black, Supernova, and Typhoon came back for a limited time. But this one was kind of horrible if you were a Typhoon fan, because... This flavor, unlike the other two flavors during this limited time release, only was available in Walmart and it was also just in two liter bottles. There was no other way you could get it besides the big old bottles. So that release ended July 25th, 2011. And then in late September 2013, a frozen drink version of this, uh, Mountain Dew Typhoon Freeze, was available in Taco Bell restaurants from, yeah, September 2013 through 2014. And then, on May 24th, 2022, Pepsi announced that Mountain Dew Typhoon would be coming back for a re-release, limited time edition thing for the Mountain Dew store. And you could only buy six packs of these tall cans here. I think these are 16 ounces. And yeah, that's what I'm holding in my hand is from that release. The six packs of these cans went on sale on the Dew Store on June 1st, 2022. So by August 5th of 2022, the website to buy this flavor was then taken down. And that's basically the history of Mountain Dew Typhoon at the moment. That was the last time you were able to get these fresh. In 2023, there was a planned promotion for another decision where Typhoon was going to be released with Pitch Black, but that never happened. I mean, Pitch Black was released in 2023, but it wasn't under the promotion of uh, bringing back Typhoon as well. So there you go. That's the history of Mountain Dew Typhoon. 
Let's pour this and taste it and see if it is actually any good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It has a pinkish, orangish hue to it. it. Smells very refreshing. Very juicy, like it, yeah. It smells so potent, like there is that strong strawberry smell and that pineapple smell, who would have thought? Anyways, here we go. This is Mountain Dew Typhoon from 2022. Hmm. That is very flavorful. It's juicy. <laughs> yeah, the strawberry taste is very potent, but there is something about it. There is somewhat of a aftertaste that isn't quite kind of has a bitter aftertaste. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Uh. I'm going to try a little bit out of the can now. Oh, it's fizzy. Mm. It's almost got a, like a creamy texture to it as well. I like it. Okay, so Typhoon, is it different than Infinite Swirl, even though it's the same thing, Strawberry Pineapple? I would say yes. I really loved Infinite Swirl, but I want to say that Typhoon is its own thing in its, in its own right. <laughs> it seems like this has a very sweet strawberry taste going in, so it like welcomes you. It rolls out the red carpet saying, hi, welcome. Here we are with this sweet strawberry. Enjoy. And then halfway through, there is going to be that pineapple taste that's kind of there at the beginning. It just kind of lingers in the background. It watches strawberry do its little sing song and dance. And then pineapple's like, all right, I'm done with this. Let me get in front. Hey, what's up? I'm pineapple. What's going on? You want to go to Longhorn Steakhouse? And I'll be like, yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. So the pineapple is just a very refreshing taste that uh, ends the soda on a good note. My one gripe, though, is at the very, very end, like even after you drank it, swallowed it and everything, there is somewhat of a, a small bitter aftertaste that I think comes from the pineapple flavoring in this. And maybe it's just because it's two years old possibly that's what it's doing it but that that but uh it's still a very very good solid mountain dew flavor i think possibly they saw typhoon as uh it's kind of old it has a seedy history let's just rebrand and repackage it as mountain dew infinite swirl so that's what i really think uh happened to typhoon so if you really do want to uh get down to business and really know what Typhoon tastes like. You just buy Infinite Swirl and it'd pretty much be the same thing. Maybe a little bit different because I, I do taste that there is a more balanced uh, strawberry flavor than Infinite Swirl. Infinite Swirl is more of a very, a much more tropical taste as this is more of a solid fruit punch with a tropical taste. Does it make sense? But uh, yeah, the fizz on here, it's got a great uh, smooth texture to it as well. And I, look at the can on here too. It's, it's pretty cool. So here we've got a pirate ship. And we'll keep moving on. And here is an octopus with a cowboy hat on. <laughs> There's a dinosaur on a surfboard. <laughs> 
<laughs> just riding the waves, bro. I think, yeah, this is just a cool can in itself as well. Uh, great flavor. Good, solid effort. I can see why it's been brought back time and time again. And, uh, yeah, Infinite Swirl, if you can't find this, just pick that up, though. And that'd be the closest thing to this. So, would I recommend this flavor? Yes. A solid yes. I would say definitely get this. It's a nice, balanced, sweet, and refreshing taste. So, uh, even on a hot summer day, you want to have something sweet, but also quench your thirst a little bit. Yeah, you could definitely do it with this flavor. I would give Mountain Dew Typhoon... Uh... You know what? I'm being generous. I was thinking 9.5, but I'll give this a solid 10 out of 10. It's there's there's not really anything bad about it. I would you know say oh the little bit of bitterness at the end, but I got to factor in that this is two years old, so I, I can't beat it up too much. So yeah, I give Mountain Dew Typhoon a 10 out of 10, and I stand on that and highly recommend it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this very educational, very historic look at Mountain Dew Typhoon on this Chi Day Review. I am DJ Glowing Ice, always wanting to remind you that it is okay to cheat every once in a while. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.